In this video, I'm going to explain YouTube analytics to you in a step-by-step -step way so you can actually use it. On the top of the screen, we have a couple of tabs, overview, reach, engagement, audience, and revenue. Let's go over all of them step-by-step. -step. Over here, we have some abbreviations of what is going on on your channel. This is the graph that displays me the views, and this is the graph that displays me the watch time. This is the graph that displays how many subscribers I got, and over here is the graph when it comes to revenue. Under this graph, you have the releases of the video, so you know when or which videos you released. This is 28 days, but you can set, if you want to, another period, for example, 90 days, then it will explain what has happened over the, the last 90 days. And you can see I released a video every week over here and here once every two weeks. I can also set this to the last 365 days. I can go to the advanced mode over here, then it will go into more detail about the statistics over here. Uh, see more will do the same. I will first discuss what this is doing here. This is your performance over the last 48 hours. So my <clears throat> best performing videos over the last 48 hours. And when I click here, see more, then it will display me all the videos that have the best performance over the last 48 hours. I'd like to have a little bit an eye on the videos that I have. So I know a little bit how many views that there are on a video. Over here you see what are the views over the last 48 hours. And uh, here are people up and awake and here are people sleeping up and awake and sleeping. And we're now going to the part where people are awake because America wakes up and that is my main target audience for this channel. And this is the performance over the last 60 minutes and you can see by video broken down what the performance is over the last 48 videos and the 48 hours and what about the last 60 minutes. Click on the X to discard this window and then we go back to the channel analytics window. On the bottom of this page, uh, there are your top performing videos over the last uh, period in this period selected over here. So I have it almost always on 28 days. And over here, I have my latest video, the performance of my latest videos. That is somewhat the, the same snapshot card as that was on the dashboard. Oh, and by the way, if you like this video, you're probably gonna like what I have in store for you on this channel. Subscribe and hit the bell so you get a notification when I upload a new video. Let's go to reach, because in reach, that says everything about your audience. How does my audience reach my videos? I can see over the last 28 days that Again, my views have declined, or my impressions have declined over here. What about my click-through rate? Well, my click-through rate has slightly gone up. What about the views and what about the unique viewers? Over here, I have the source, the traffic sources. YouTube search is my most important external, my second important suggested videos. Over here, the impressions that led to watch time. This is the watch time funnel. This is how many impressions, how many people saw my thumbnail and clicked through. Well, 5.9% clicked through and I got um, 106,000 views from the impressions and the amount of watch time that it led to. Over here, my external sources. Uh, Google search, uh, learn how to produce music, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and over here my playlist, which were my most popular playlists, um, best laptop computer for music production. Probably if I make another video about computers for music production, I will put this in, the, in this playlist and it has a higher chance of getting more traction quickly. Because I know now that this playlist is popular. Over here I have the suggested videos, which videos suggested my videos the most. And over here what was the most searched term when it comes to my videos, well best audio interface 2020. Let's take a look at engagement and engagement says everything about how do people react to my videos. So my top videos, the top videos by end screen, so the last 20 seconds of my videos, what were the, the best performing. 
Uh, over here, my top performing playlists, the end screen elements, which kind of end screen elements were the most popular. Playlist is pretty popular, but the most popular is video. The top cards, those eye icons in the top right corner of your screen. Watch time hours has gone down regretfully and the average view duration is pretty the same. Now I'm really curious if I take this over a lifetime, how much did my average view duration change? And you see my average view duration has gone slightly down over the years. Bad, bad, bad Dexter. Okay, let's go to audience. I'm going to set this to 28 days. My unique viewers, my average views per viewer and my subscribers are over here. When are the most popular times that people watch your videos? Well, I can see it's around 6 p.m. For me, 6 p.m. and in America, that's probably uh, somewhere in the morning. And the subscriber notification, there's a difference between um, people that enabled all the notifications and the people that enabled all the notifications but didn't, re didn't get it. For example, I have disabled all the notifications on my phone. So that means that the amount of viewers that have enabled all the notifications on all, the, all their devices is lower than the amount of people that have enabled all the notifications. The top countries, watch time from subscribers. This is to get a quick overview so you don't have to look at all the boring graphs. Uh, this breaks down for you what is the most important. Um, so I can see, for example, my most popular audience is between 25 and 34 years old. And these are the most subtitle, uh, the most important subtitle languages. And here is broken down my revenue. Now we have looked at the analytics of the channel as a whole, but you can break it down even further by video level if you want. So let's go to videos. And when you hover over an item, you can go directly to analytics here. And now you will see on the top of the page, we have the same tabs as we had on the channel level overview, reach, engagement, audience, revenue. But there are some extra options over here. You can see by the way here the real-time activity of the video which drove the most views. YouTube search suggested a little bit. Over here we have the audience retention and when it comes to graphs or analytics this is the most important graph to look at because here you can see what is happening with your video. When I click on see more then on the top of the screen there is a video player and when I play this you can see that there is a line over here and that points to where we are in the video. Here we can see how viewers react to my video. So I can see there is a point here that viewers are, ah, that is number one. Here's a point in the video, here is a point in the video, here is a point in the video, and here is a point in the video. And at the end of the video is something going on, and that is the end screen, and people are clicking away because the video is over. You need to make this as short as possible. You want to have this at 50%. 40% is pretty good uh, if you have 50, 60, then you will go through the roof on YouTube. But I'm not unhappy with the performance of this video. Average view duration, 40%. What happens here? That is what I like to know. I know there are timestamps in the video and I know that people skip to the next parts of the video. So I know that these drop off points in this video doesn't mean anything special. But for example, if you have your intro over here, your bumper over here, and you see that there is a massive drop off, then you need to make sure that you get rid of the bumper or do something with that bumper. The rest in this screen is pretty much the same as when it comes to the uh, view of the whole channel. If you like these kinds of videos, you should definitely check out my playlist right here with more YouTube beginner tutorials. If you just started or thinking about starting a YouTube channel, you should definitely check out my ultimate beginner's guide on starting a YouTube channel right here. Don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more.